Well, hey again, you guys. So sorry about that. Something happened with the record button on our circle time meeting, and I guess that the work did not get recorded. So we're going to try again with that. I'm going to go through how the work, how to do the work again. So the first thing I just wanted to remind you of is your journal. Remember, every week you have a new journal question, and your mom or dad can write it down on the paper and then you can draw a picture about the question and then tell them about what you drew. All right, so that's just a journal reminder. And since it's a new month, remember it's a new month of October, we talked about that, we need a new reading log. So this month our reading log is, has firefighter hats on it and a fire truck and that's because October is fire safety month. Now we're not doing anything about fire safety this month, but um, the, the reading log has firefighter hats on it because it is fire safety month. So remember, every time you read a book with your mom or dad, you color in a helmet. And remember to have them make more copies of this so that you don't run out, all right? And then also, since it is a new month, of course, we need a new October calendar to work on at home. So remember from last time, we always write our name first, and you can either write it yourself or have your mom and dad write it in yellow, and then you can trace it, or you can have, or you can have them write it. And then since you're in the threes class, you can choose how many numbers you want to trace. In the fours class, I always say if you're four or five years old, you need to trace all the numbers. So I traced some of the numbers and I wrote my name. And now is the fun part. In your packet, you also have a pumpkin. And what I was thinking was that you could mix colors, yellow and red, with your fingers. So do finger painting on top of this pumpkin and see what happens when you mix yellow and red together. I bet a lot of you already know right? What yellow and red make? A lot of you might. But if you don't, I'm not going to tell you. All right? So you'll have to do the little experiment with the pumpkin and finger colors to, to find out. All right? So after you've colored your pumpkin, and if you don't want to use finger paints, that's fine too. You can do something else. You're going to put some glue on the back of it, and you're going to glue it down on another piece of paper. Now, I happen to have this green piece of paper, and I'm going to glue down my pumpkin on the green piece of paper. So there it is. And then I'm going to take my October calendar and put some glue on each top corner, and then I'm going to glue that down on the bottom of my pumpkin paper and now you have your own October calendar and you can keep track of the days if you want. All right? Okay, we also have a leaf countdown book in your uh, packet today. And what you're going to do here, oops, I forgot to get the, I'm going to get the pencil and the glue stick. You're going to write your name at the top, just like we usually do or have your mom or dad write it in yellow and you can trace it or have your mom and dad write it now if you want you can color this first page if you want to color the tree or something you can definitely do that but before we open the book up we're going to use some of these paper strips that were in your packet you're going to use these paper strips for three different activities this week so don't use them all up today okay so I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to tear it into a bunch of little pieces. All right? And when you tear, you don't pull it, you kind of go like that. All right? And I'm going to tear a bunch of little papers and each of these is going to be a leaf in your leaf countdown book. enough for the first two pages that I'm going to show you. Then we're going to open the book up to the first page. And the first page, what number is that? Does anyone know? Yeah, it's a five. So we need to put five leaves on this tree. So we're going to use 
our little torn paper leaves, and we're going to put some glue on each of each of them. So there's one, two, three. We're going to do one more together, and then I will let you figure out the other one on your own. So what number is that? Does anyone know? Yeah, that's a four. So this book, the numbers go backwards from five down to zero instead of the other way around. So we need to glue on four leaves to this tree. So one, two, three. back on my glue stick so it doesn't get dried out. So there's my four leaves on my tree that says four. And I'm going to show you the rest of the pages. All right. So here's the next one. What does that mean? Yep, it says three. So you'll put three leaves on that tree. And what's this one? Yeah, two. So you'll put two leaves on that tree. And what does this one say? Yep, one. So you'll put one leaf on this tree. And then the last one, this one's a little tricky sometimes. Does anyone know what number that is? Yeah, that's a zero. Zero means nothing. So there are no leaves on this tree. It is bare, like we talked about in the book that I read today. A tree with no leaves is called a bare tree. So this is a bare tree. All right. Right. And another thing we need to do, because it's the beginning of a new month, is another self-portrait. Remember last one, last month we had one that said, this is me in September. This one says, this is me in October. And I need to look at me and figure out what parts I have. I have a head that has ears and eyes and a nose and a mouth and hair, right? And then what's this called? Yep, that's your neck neck, I have shoulders, I have elbows, and wrists, and what are these? Hands. And does anyone remember what this is called? I mentioned it last month. Yeah, it's called a torso. And then we have our legs and our feet. Mine are hiding, you can't see them. So think about all those parts that you have on yourself, and if you want to draw clothes on yourself, you can too. All right? And so draw yourself on here and then remind your mom and dad you got to bring this to me when you come to get your packet on Friday and I will save it with all the other ones, okay? All right, one more thing. This is one of the favorite things in the classroom to do. This is pin poking. And your mom and dad received directions for this in their email that I sent out. But this is your little pin poking packet, all right, inside. You have a little carpet that's to do your pin poking on top of. Then you also have a pin poker. Now this is just a giant push pin basically and I have it stuck into a cork and that's to keep it safe when you're not using it. Always stick it back in the cork. All right so I'm gonna pull that out and there is the pin poker part. That's the sharp part. Okay so we have some rules when we're doing pin poking. The first one is that you keep it with your work. You don't walk around your house with it. You don't run around your house with it. And we don't do it at school either. We don't run or walk around the school with it. We keep it with our work, okay? The other rule is that you never poke yourself with it. It's really sharp. You don't want to hurt yourself. And you never poke, your, poke other people with it, all right? Never poke yourself or others with this. This is a very special work, all right? So you have to remember the rules. And then when you're done with it, make sure your mom and dad put it away. All right, you don't wanna do this work unless your mom and dad are watching you, all right? So also in your packet, you got some leaves drawn on paper. These are for pin poking, all right? So you're gonna pick one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the orange one here. 
You're going to put it on top of the little carpet, okay? And you want the carpet on top of something that you can't hurt with a pin poker because the pokers can go right through the carpet, okay? They really can. So maybe on top of a towel or something like that, but don't just do them on top of your dining room table because it might make holes in it. Then you'll put your little leaf on top of the carpet, take your pin poker out, and you're going to poke little tiny holes on the black line, okay? The idea is to put all of the holes on the black line. And you're gonna try to get them as close to each other as you can. All right, that takes practice, so don't worry if you don't get them super close together right away. But as you practice, you, the better you'll get. And once you're able to get those little holes right next to each other, there's some magic that happens at the end. All right, I'm gonna show you that magic in just a second. Now I have to kind of keep moving my paper because my carpet is very small. The ones we have at school are bigger, but this one is small. So you have to kind of keep moving your paper around with your helper hand to make sure that it is on top of the carpet. If it's not on top of the carpet, the pin poking will not work, okay? If you try to do this on top of a table with no carpet, it won't work. You'll be very disappointed. So always do this on top of the carpet. I also, in the email I sent home, uh, included a link to um, another teacher doing a demonstration of how to do pin poking. So if your mom and dad want to go look at that too, they can. All right almost done and then you're going to get to see the magic happen here. There we go. I got to move it over just a little bit. Okay, and then I always put my pin poker back in the cork to keep it safe. All right. Now I don't know if you can see the dots from the holes. I can turn it around and see the back. See, that's where all the holes are. Now I'm going to ask a grown-up, if you're a kid, you're going to ask a grown-up to pop it out, at least at first, because you don't want it to tear. And if you have enough holes, your grown-up will be able to pop it out. If there aren't enough holes, your grown-up might say, oh, we need to put some more holes in there so we can pop it out. And then there you have your leaf. Now, it's really fun to hang these up in the window. We do that at school a lot. So if you want to hang them in your window, that would be very nice. All right, so that is pin poking, and when you are all done, remember, put your pin poker and your carpet away in a safe place, or have mom or dad do it, so that nobody gets hurt with it when it's not being used. All right, so that is the work I have for you today, and I'm sorry it didn't get recorded with the circle time this morning, but we have it now, so that is good. So I'll see everyone later, all right?